The gale of defection hovering over the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, appears to be getting attention from President Momodou Buhari, who has waded into the post primary crisis rocking the party. President Buhari, who met with some APC senators at the presidential villa Abuja on the outcome of the party primaries, assured them that their grievances will be addressed and justice will prevail. Let's share the story with you. Aggrieved APC senators bring their grievance to President Muhammad Buhari. The outcome of the primary elections has left many of them with an uncertain future. More than 50 senators will not return to the National Assembly next year. Most of them are APC lawmakers. They have come to warn President Buhari about the likelihood of another gale of defection that will jeopardize the majority status of the APC in the National Assembly. But President Buhari urged them to exercise restraint and continue to demonstrate commitment to the ideals of the party. I have noted your grievances, particularly as it concerns the just concluded processes, the cost to the nation, the threat to the majority position held by our party in the legislative chambers, and likely consequent costs to the electoral fortunes of our party as we approach the general elections. We must not allow these dire threats to come to pass. I have since the conclusion of the processes been inundated with various reports and complaints. In keeping with our issues, therefore, I shall continue to address the ensuring challenges and grievances through the party machinery while paying keen attention to the outcomes. The primary elections set some lawmakers at loggerheads with governors who largely control the structure of the party. In most cases, there was little or nothing the National Working Committee of the APC could do to reconcile the differences that exist. The national chairman of the APC, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, who until his resignation from the Senate in April was a ranking lawmaker, could also not save his colleagues from an imminent defeat at the primary elections. But he is making efforts to stop them from abandoning their membership of the APC in pursuit of a political future elsewhere. Maybe this meeting with President Buhari will placate the unhappy lawmakers as the party desperately needs a strong force that will propel it to victory at the polls in 2023. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. The turnover of this lawmaker does not get so alarming. <laughs> the nation is really... The nation, it's affecting the nation because the quality of lawmaking ought to be getting better. In every four years, we should get better and you, you saw the, the 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 problems we had with the amended elect, electoral act. I mean, if we had a crop of very experienced uh, senators and members of the House of Representatives, I don't think some of those things you know, would have um, happened. And then you see some laws through some resolutions. You see, you can see that they lack that bite mm. expected of a legislature, people by experienced. Mm. Politician, but yes, because by the time we fast went, some of these lawmakers they fell out of favor with their governors, and then the rest they say, Is this true? The governor did not it, just it simply want to them. Just... I saw Smart Adeyemi <laughs> there, and I know lately Smart Adeyemi has been, he has it, been singing. It, it is not about falling out of favor with the governor, it is the fact that even the governors have their own interest. For yes. instance, we have a lot of governors who are. Ending their second term yes, now. And they, want to go, and they are looking the for political yes. relevance. So they want to go to the Senate. Mm. In that case, every senator who is occupying that position knew <laughs> from the onset that this man is going to come for this seat. They are like and 48 was, in number now. And that was why Former governors. you recollect that on this program, we discussed this issue of the Electoral Act mm. a lot of times. And we knew it was where it was going to end. Because once... The governors do not allow the senators or the lawmakers to have their way. This is what will happen in the, in the primaries. And it has happened that way. And you can see 
defection already happening. It's not just limited to this 22. And there is no assurance that meeting with the president will still stop this 22 they have their from agenda. leaving. Because they want to be political, rele politically they, relevant. What, do you, what are the feelings you are getting? What do you read between the lines? This, is, uh, this might be costly for the ruling party. Yeah, the president uh, said that clearly that it's costly, it's risky for the political fortune of the party as it concerns the 2023 general election. The president had warned in the past that popular politicians should not be denied of their opportunity to win. But where there is an ego war between governors and uh, lawmakers, the governors sacrifice a good number of, of these lawmakers. Even some governors who are not interested in going to the Senate, they still make sure that they stop all these lawmakers from uh, retaining their, their, I mean, claiming the tickets because they felt that the lawmakers targeted the um, preeminence that governors enjoyed by way of uh, appointing people as delegates and all that. Although that law didn't sell through, but the governors, a lot of them didn't forgive these lawmakers and they deliberately targeted them. It's, it's so painful that the level playing field was not provided. And that was why the, go the president said something that I held on to. He said he has received reports and news of the fraud that took place during the presidency, I mean, during the primaries. So the president was aware that some of the primaries were characterized by bare-faced, uh, 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 fraudulent uh, um, um, electioneering process. So that's why a lot of these guys lost. It's not fair for us to continue to treat federal lawmakers in this manner. That's where they spent much longer in the Congress, in the National Assembly. America, the, the lawmaker that spent the longest time in America, spent 51 years in the Congress. Another one spent 49 years. So in our own case, some of them will do one term and they are chased away for no reason, for no reason. So if you want to have quality lawmaking, it comes with experience. But a lot of these people don't have the experience. People are praising Bajabi Amila today. But Bajabi Amila has been in uh, the National Assembly for so long. Mm, for so long. You know, so this, this is the thing. You can't keep chasing people away just because you are interested in their position or because you have someone else that you want to use to replace them. I mean, it, 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 we, 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 we've seen even in the Kitty State, I've, I've heard of a, um, a particularly brilliant uh, lawmaker that is not coming back. Ajetu Mobi, and it's not as, it's not as if it's, uh, governor is interested in his seat, but it's not coming back, and a lot of his colleagues are very angry because he's one of the best in the Senate. So this is what we do to ourselves. It's just not 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 good at all, mm. not good enough. I don't know what the president can do. I doubt if he can do really do anything except maybe to promise some of them um, future appointments. What really? I still believe that some of them will leave because they are leaving mm. even to send a clear message. Look at a whole majority leader of the Senate scoring less than five votes in the primaries. Is he that unpopular? It can't be that unpopular now. It was so that the governor skewed this thing. The governor skewed this thing in their favor. And then the governor moved to take the ticket of Aliru and gave himself. And that's the man who brought him to the party. He was in the PDP. He lost the primaries in the, I mean, he lost out in the, in the PDP. He wanted to be governor there. And they brought him in 2014. Now he's going to take the ticket of the man who brought him to the party. I mean, this is, is immoral the way the thing is done. Let people lose. If they want to lose, let them lose on a clean slate. Mm. But a situation in which people just and pick other people, we call, uh, we call primaries something that governor just sit down, just write names, and you call it primaries. I mean, it's... Mm. It's just not, uh, it's, it's not right. And that's why we're having these unprecedented numbers leaving mm. the, the, the APC. Thank you. I'll because it was question. just too bad this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll thank you, BKO. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Well. And Thank you. Thank you.
And that's our package today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11. And don't forget to join us this Sunday by 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. for Journalist Hangout on Sunday. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodidi Ozubaku. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.